Hey guys, it's Ryland Digne, and this vlog is all about getting my brace for my scoliosis. So we're about to leave for Virginia, and I think we have how long of a ride? Uh, probably like two, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Okay, so we're here at the National Scoliosis Center, and yeah, we're going right there. So we're gonna go inside and I have to show you something that is very dangerous in here. This very bush right here gave me a really big bruise on my leg. She fell in it last time. <laughs> I fell into she the bush. She was being doppy and not paying attention and she fell in the bush. Yeah, we're in now. So we're waiting for the oven to heat up. I don't really know why. And then we're gonna get started, whatever we're doing. I don't even know. So. Yeah. Okay, so here are all of the braces. Comment down below which design is your favorite. I'm gonna get like this splatter print pattern. I'm not sure what colors yet. They're so cute. Oh my god. So this is the paper that is gonna put our color on there for us, okay? Oh. Alright, so what we're gonna do is let's pretend this is a plastic right here. So when the plastic comes out, it's actually gonna be clear. And hot. What we're going to do is we're going to dab it and kind of roll, dab and roll, and we're going to move it around. The longer it stays, the darker the color. So, do you want a lot of color, pink and blue, or do you want a little bit of color? Well, like it's almost too much. It wants to be like a little noticeable. Yeah, it won't. It won't show through too much. Most clothes you wear, you won't notice it underneath. If you're wearing something white and tight, that's going to maybe make it more noticeable. All right, so we'll dab and roll and we'll move all around the plastic. It's hot, and then we'll shut it back in, let it warm up, and then we'll pull it around your shape right here. So once I get it on there, it starts to cool off pretty quickly. That's where I'm gonna cut it off around those trim lines. And um, then we'll remove it and let it cool a little bit and we'll try it on. I'll just show you real quick. There it is. You can wow. see it's white right now and it's heating oh, up. Oh, wow. And so then we're going to let it get all the way through. How hot does it get? About 360. Ready? So how long do you have to get that on before it dries? Is it like um, it's cooling. Um, it's uh, cooling quickly. So I have to kind of get it on there and get it pulled within a few seconds, and then I need a couple of minutes time to cut it off. So now it's still a little bit hot, mm -mm. so we can form it just a little bit. We made it nice and thin. Yeah, what's what's in there? What's the fluffy that's, stuff? That's the carver. That's what we use to actually be the model. So the scan that we took, we made modifications on the computer, put a foam block like you see up there on top across the middle. It carved out the finished shape that we wanted it to with the corrections built in. So at the bottom, you can see it's foam. So that's it's it's very awesome. lightweight and easy to work with. The old way was to take a plaster wrap of Ryland and make a mummy of her and then fill that plaster with plaster, liquid plaster, it hardened and it was heavy and hard to mm -hmm. work with. So this is using technology. So we have you crank the handle here, okay? Okay, I think we're ready for our first try up. It's a great idea to tuck your hair inside like that. Come on over and uh, let's let you sit right here. All right, so let's review our pressure scale, okay? So a one is a light touch. I feel it, it's on me. Two is a little bit more, but it doesn't bother me. Three is a little bit more. It, it's a squeeze there, but it doesn't hurt. I'll do it up here. A four, that didn't feel very good, right? That hurts a little bit. What do you think a five feels like? Crushing. Yeah. Crushing. Okay. We don't like that. It's going to put pressure here, 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 and a few other places to move you. Okay. When you're putting this on, you're going to grab it with your right hand right here. Go ahead and reach behind this one. Good. Now reach behind, pull it around. Good. And now we're going to put you over on your back. Come on over. Let's let you lie down. There you go. Okay. We're going to get you squared away. Yeah, just actually stay right there. Okay. 
And there's an indent on this side that goes right at your waist, below those ribs, above the, the skin, okay, right there. And then this piece is gonna kind of come over the top and wrap it around. So you can put your hand on the side and help me squeeze it close. Put your hands over here. Let me go right that. Put that hand right down there and squeeze it close for me, okay? You have that for me so you can apply. You get any pressure spots that hurt, cause you pain or discomfort? A little bit under the arms. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to get a marker from over here so that we can write on this. All right, so the next thing is to sit you up. So using your abs of steel and your elbows and hands to help but sit you up, okay? There you go. You did very well at that. Look at that, okay. We don't want it to jab you in the tops of the legs. So if it is, we're gonna turn that up right there. We don't want it to jab you right here either, right? So. You're gonna put your finger right around it and grab it like that. When I ask you to, you're gonna turn it on. And when I say stop, you can stop. Right, but just turn it on and keep it on. We're gonna put it right there. We'll go down and come out and that's when I'll say stop. So now we need to put some straps on it. So where we just drill those holes, that's where we're going to attach these. So we'll take those and we'll put them through each hole like that, okay? So I'll grab one of those. Let's see what it's going to You can get that too. You can get that one right through that hole right there. Almost there. Yeah, we can a little bit. That's it. Good. Let's get one in there. One more at the top here. Now this is a strap and it's going to go right on top like that. So grab the other one. Yeah, that's right. You grab one of them and put it right on top. Good. That's it. Now let's do that strap. So grab it with your left hand right there to stabilize yourself so that you'll be able to step up on that pedal. I'm going to put my own next to it. Okay, ready? Go. Step up, step, step up. Good. Okay. It's called mash power. Ready? Go. Mash. All right. Ready? Go. Put me. So this is a special piece of equipment for our profession. It helps us grind and polish all these edges. It's called a router or some kind of polisher. And this spins very fast, like sandpaper. And this is a polisher. So as I work it back and forth, if I work it back and forth, it's going to take care of all those sharp edges on there. Okay. So you got your glasses on. You ready to go? All right. Push the green button for me. It's going to start, and that's make a little noise. When you squeeze that, air is going to come out. We're going to aim it away from us, okay? So you go ahead and squeeze it. Just like that. And then you're going to pull it right around. You're going to kick over on your back. And okay. So now you want this indent to be right there. So scoot down just a little right there. Perfect. Okay. You're going to start with your lower strap, grab it, put it over and through. I, I made this strap just a little bit. Um, shorter so that it went on this time. So turn it and pull. That's it. Right there. And I'll probably put a longer strap on for you. 
Now grab that one, turn it, and pull. Okay. All right, how does that feel lying down? Better than the first time, right? Definitely. Yeah. So remember our scale for one, two, three, four, five. Any fours or fives, things bugging you when you're lying down? We're going to get a pad up here by the time we're finished. Yeah. Well, it's still a little tight. In a here. little tight on your tummy. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think it's too bad. Better? Yeah, definitely. Let's sit you up. Swing those legs over the edge. Okay, just sit right there. For me. Okay. okay. How's the pressure on the hip over here? It's not as bad now. Okay. What number? It's probably like a three. Okay. So, so I think we can still shorten this up a little. So we're looking through a book, and it's full of people with scoliosis, and it's like their name, what they like to do, siblings, favorite foods. So we're looking through that while I fill out one. Oh, and it's also their contact information if I want to talk to them. So I think that's really cool. So yeah. Okay, so I just made mine. And it says, my name is Rylan Dunye and I'm 12 years old. I found that I had scoliosis when I was 12. I have one sibling and his name is Landon. I like to swim, make slime, play with squishies and film. My hobbies include swimming, making content for apps, and hanging with friends. If someone were to ask me how I thought about scoliosis, I would have to answer. It's not that bad, it could be worse. My favorite color is baby blue and mint green. My favorite movie is Love, Simon. My favorite TV show is Big Brother. My favorite song is Girls Like You by Maroon 5. My favorite food is Olive Garden Salad. The number one place I would want to visit is Bora Bora. When I grow up, I want to be an actress and mom. And yeah, and then I drew like little hearts on it. So grab it right there in the middle, flip it around. Good. Start with that lower strap. That helps bring the brace up. If you start with the top, then it's for sure. There you go. You just start it there. You can finish it when you lie down. When you're able to do it lying down, that's better because your body relaxes and elongates. And you don't have to mess with that. You just turn it full, just like that. Let's put your arm back in. Okay. So orient that at your waist, scoot your waist down just a wee bit. There you go. So it's not on getting and crushing yet. Okay, go ahead and grab that lower strap and give it a tug. That's it. Give it a tug to that one. Give it a tug. Good. All right, when you're lying down, you're aware of anything causing you any pressure, pain, discomfort? <laughs> So we're good. Yeah. Okay. So there's three postures, lying down, sitting, and standing. And we want to make sure it fits comfortably in each one of those positions. Lying is usually the easiest. So at nighttime, it might be a little restless the first night or two, but you can sleep on your side, your back. Within several nights, you'll be comfortable. Okay. So just sitting. Oh. All right. We want to make sure I'm not digging in on the tops of your legs. We don't want any pressure that hurts across the top of the hip on either side. You got any problem there? Okay. Want to make sure you got good clearance across the front and your knee. Okay. That arm is everyone's number one complaint. Mm -hmm. It lifts your shoulder up and it's pushing you back. And what we don't want, we don't want your fingers to get numb, tingly, blue. Don't want your hand to fall off. <laughs> That'd be a problem. Yeah. I don't know. Those nails are looking kind of blue. Yeah. So, all right. We don't want it to hurt. You get any pressure or discomfort underneath the arm that you think will be an issue? Not really. And sometimes if you just stretch your arm, put your hand on your hip, and it can be a little too hot. You just stretch like that, and then it brings the skin up underneath the arm, that usually feels a little better. Oh, yeah, that's. Okay. Now, we can, right put, we can put a pad up there on that as well. Yeah. Okay. That would be nice. All right. Come on now, and I'll set you walk. Go over towards the door. It's so weird to walk. It's a different feeling. Now you know what penguins feel like. <laughs> You're a penguin. Come back and sit for just a minute. You had a spot that was over here last time. You remember that? Mm -hmm. It was down kind of low. Is that better now too? Yes. That's all good. Okay. I think we're looking really good there. Okay. So I have my brace on. And it's really warm. 
but I kind of feel like I'm gonna fall under because I'm like I can still see it, but so yeah, here's the brace. It it actually doesn't feel as bad as it looks like it would feel. I got my strap colors and I really like them. You can barely see the blue and pink, but you can see it in person and I think it looks really cute. So, yeah. There's a bunch of holes in the back. So she's making tickler. Or she can get some air. But yeah. She is braced. Okay, go now do I'm a guitar. Go do some brace dancing. Walk the runway. Here's your new curvy girl. Okay, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like, subscribe, and comment down below if you know anyone who has a brace. Love you guys. Bye.